we have any young people here today? Tomas, are you okay? Where's your name tag, Logan? You forgot to put it on. What's this on your wrist? This is a dragon? Universal. And ask if there are any particular people or concerns that we have to share this morning. Yes? You haven't heard from me for a while, so might as well talk. <laughs> well, I have the floor. Tim is doing some better, but he had to have two units of blood last week, and they're trying to move his surgery up so that it's closer instead of further away. So continue to pray for him, if you would please. Eli has been born, and they have had done the surgery, and they've taken the mass out of his chest. We still have not received the pathology report, so we're waiting on that. And hopefully, he's going to be released from the hospital maybe by Tuesday. I'm not sure. Good. Rob is back in Iraq. We had a wonderful 10 days. We just partied for 10 days, and not a bit of liquor. There was no beer. There was hot dogs, and there was hamburgers. <laughs> yes, there was. Not so steak, but that's beside the point. He's back in Iraq and he got there safely. And um, we got the grandson and his wife moved to Jasper. So we were busy. And yesterday we celebrated in Green Castle. Our youngest son turned 44 yesterday. Nice. Well, I didn't write that down, so we'll just put it warmer. We'll do that. Is there any other concerns? Michelle? If we can continue praying for my sister, she has to have a second surgery on the first foot that they had surgery on because that got messed up. And so she's still one-footed. She can't work. Um, is having financial problems. Of course. Yeah. Let's turn our attention to prayer. Again. Gracious and heavenly God, this is a very important Sunday in the life of any church. And certainly this church, for all the men and women who have served honorably, we lift them up and we thank you. We give thee thanks to those men and women of arms, because without their sacrifice, um, we would not be here. We would be worshiping something else, if anything at all. And so we're grateful that people heard the call, and in hearing the call, responded in productive ways. We give thee thanks for their sacrifice, and we give thee thanks that they alone had the courage to bear their scars and their own private pain. And we give thee thanks for them for doing that. Gracious and heavenly God, we give thee thanks for this good day, for the opportunity to lift up all men and women um, who have served this good and gracious country, flawed as it is, nonetheless. And we thank you for that. We give thee thanks for Rob Normer, who serves in Iraq, give thee thanks um, for Luke Leonard who serves in the Middle East we give thee thanks for 
Lou Tompkins service. And the list goes on, and we ask that you take all these people and hold them in the hollow of your hand. And gracious and heavenly God, <coughs> we ask that you be with the um, Lorimer family uh, for the healing that needs to take place. We ask that you be with everyone. We ask that you be with uh, Michelle's sister in this difficult time. And that healing would come upon her. Gracious and heavenly God, we lift up those members and friends of this fellowship who, uh, whose hearts are bruised, whose minds perhaps are not clear anymore, whose souls still may be stained, whose lives have been hurt. And we would ask that they might be restored into wholeness <coughs> and held next to your heart. We pray for our country. We pray for our enemies. We pray for those who would do us harm. And we ask that we would someday beat our swords into plowshares, and that someday we would study war no more, and that someday we would talk about the Prince of Peace as a reality instead of something that's make-believe, and that someday we would be able to say, blessed are the peacemakers, and that someday we might behave like children of in the meantime, we ask that you look over us, forgive us of our sins, <clears throat> and hear this our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And it is not a temptation but deliver us from evil. Mine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So as I say to you, may the peace and love of Jesus be with you and with you also. And please share the hand of friendship with your neighbor. Jesus Christ be with you.